So Northern Arizona University students had an idea a few years back to write a children's book about forest health. The students have since graduated, but their dream has become a reality and will soon be in area classrooms throughout the region. Ponderosa Peat is a book about a 330-year-old Ponderosa pine and his squirrel friend, Birdie. It's illustrated by Scott Sink and written by Julie Blake Gidley, who was working at the Ecological Research Institute and working on a senior class project. And I wanted to do a forest restoration curriculum for a sixth grade class. And so I wrote this story, which later a different ERI student wanted to write a story about um, Ponderosa Pine Forest for children. And they said, hey, Julie already wrote one. And so he decided to illustrate it. So that's, that's how the story came about. Blake Gidley and artist Scott Sink had an important book, but no publisher. And that's where the Arizona Game and Fish Department came in with lottery monies, known as the Heritage Fund. In this case, uh, we found that the folks were trying to find a way to print Ponderosa Pete. And so we kicked in with Game and Fish Heritage Funds, and we supplied the money to get this book printed for kids. What we hope to accomplish is to bring the story of Ponderosa Pete to our third and fourth grade kids, mostly throughout the north central part of Arizona, but any place within Arizona, and we're giving the books away, they, they're going to go out to all the classrooms without, without charge, so that these kids and tomorrow's kids will understand what is important in healthy forests, what is important in healthy conservation of, of, of all plant and animal life. The $10,000 gift from the Heritage Fund was enough to publish 2,500 books. At a recent book signing and reading at the Flagstaff Public Library, youngsters were given a copy of Ponderosa Pete so they could learn more about the forest surrounding their community. And Flagstaff families care about forests, they care about forest health, people think about wildfires and the danger we're in. So when you have parents reading a story to the kid and the parents are learning and the children are learning about the book, to me that's a pretty important issue for Flagstaff. It's really exciting, you know, and it, I, I spend a lot of time working at the ERI as a student and afterwards working on K-12 through education and trying to get the word out to educate about forest restoration. So it's a really neat way, I think, to reach a lot more people. Ponderosa Pete will have many opportunities to tell the story of his struggle in the changing forest. When Northern Arizona elementary students return to school in the fall, Ponderosa Pete will be there, along with resources to help tell the pine trees story. Teachers will be getting kits. They'll be placed at each library in the community, and there'll be a set of books for the classroom and activity kits. In the book, Ponderosa Pete says it makes him happy to see people working together to restore forest health. And now that his message is getting out there to more young people, he's hopeful they can build a brighter future.